OK, let's just find out where you'd like me to go. Hi, I'm Paul Barry, and oh no, a dodgy auto queue on the 6pm news. But no problems, the nine's Peter Overton. OK, you'd like me to go to Morocco? OK. The number of people killed in the powerful earthquake which hit Morocco... Seven also reporting on the deadly earthquake, which measured... At least 6.8 on the Richter scale, centred in the Atlas Mountains. And while spelling Marrakesh with one R is not ideal, it's what happens next that's really embarrassing. Felt as far away as Portugal. Yikes! Seven sent Portugal off to South America to invade Venezuela. And spelt its name wrong. Double whoops. But when it comes to TV gaffes of the week, Nothing compares to this humdinger from Britain's GB News. But first, it's the news headlines. No, it's not. We're going straight to me. This is breaking news. It's fast happening. Fast happening. Breaking news. Because as we just said, um, we, we, the, the terror man... <laughs> it's all gone wrong. Martin Daubney is a former politician and Brexiteer. And with a terror man on the loose, he's got a great future in breaking news. And he's been apprehended. It's all coming up in GB News. We've got our first guest. Here it is. Police have escaped, have arrested prisoner Daniel Khalif. Beg your pardon, we're getting the autocue in the right place. This story is just happening. Joining me now for the latest is GB News Home Security Editor Mark White. Are you there, Mark? It's Chip Chapman. We have Chip Chapman, Army um, for the Army Anger, former head of counterterrorism. It's an on-air shambles and ripe for ridicule from rivals because Martin Daubney recently slagged off Talk TV's Piers Morgan, calling him a journalistic failure. So after Martin's meltdown, Piers was waiting in the wings. Major General Chip Chapman. Well, I can quite. <laughs> I... Actually, I will watch that video every day probably for the rest of my natural life as a template in how to cover breaking news, because you, my friend, you are the master. GB News, as you may know, has very few people watching it, but with train crashes like that, they'll have viewers glued to the screen.